You hit a wall. No one's been able to track down that sick blackmailer. Yeah, I know. I've been searching like crazy. Well, it appears and disappears in the blink of an eye. I mean, we've come so close to catching it, and then, like that, it's gone. It's always one step ahead of us. And I'm trying to search on my own, but it would help if I knew what the police already covered. I have to find this criminal. Until I do, there's no hope Luis will be set free. Yeah, it's been blackmailing Teresa with some secret she's keeping. But I'm gonna put a stop to it. I'll do anything to hold on to Tess. You sound like you're afraid of losing her. I am. I'm not gonna let that happen. I love Tess with all my heart. But if anyone ever tried to take her from me, I'd kill him. mean that. No, I do mean that. If anyone ever tried to come between Teresa and I, I would kill him. Well, uh, that sounds a little harsh, don't you think? I mean, if I were still in uniform, I'd include that on my daily report. Maybe I wouldn't kill him. It's just we were just married, you know? I need some time with my wife. We need to be together. It's just so much going on. Yeah, tell me about it. Look, I know you're Ethan's half-sister, so you're probably on his side, but everybody needs to see him for the sneak he really is. What, sneak? Yes, sneak and, and cheat. I'm, the guy, he took my wife away from me from the hospital. He convinced her to go with him two seconds after we were married. Then I walked in on him asking her to marry him. How does Teresa feel about Ethan? She married me. And that's what, that's what I don't get. I knew I was in competition with Ethan the moment I came to Harmony. But when Gwen finally left, Teresa had to make a clear choice and she didn't jump into Ethan's arms. She married me, she loves me, but Ethan won't leave her alone. And between him and the blackmailer, Teresa's at her wit's end. I've just gotta, I gotta find this blackmailer and put a stop to it. And then I'll, I'll work on Ethan. Well, I want to find the blackmailer, too. I mean, I have to. I can't lose Luis. Oh, well, I can't lose Tess. Why don't, we, why don't we try to find him together, you know? Maybe we'll have better luck as a team. Yeah. OK, then let's do it. <laughs> well, look who I found. Hi. <clears throat> Hey. Aunt Sheridan. Hello, Fancy. Uh, Fancy and I decided to team up, try and find that monster together. Really? Yeah, we already turned the waterfront upside down, so. Well, once we find the blackmailer, we can put an end to this nightmare once and for all. And me and you can move on with our lives together. Um, Jared, there's something that I, I need to talk to you about. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some coffee quick, but, um, I'll be right back. Do you want anything? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I got my teens. Okay. <coughs> Teresa, are you all right? <coughs> Ooh, the poison's starting to kick in. I wonder if anybody's asked her if she'll like a burial or a cremation. Hi, Teresa. Would you like a burial or a cremation? <coughs> I'm fine. I'm freaking fine. Look at it. I am. I need, I need to talk to you about something. All right. It's really important, okay? You want to move to our own table? Yeah. Oh my god. Help her! Oh my god. Help her! Just, just, just breathe. Okay. Say adios, Teristas. Nothing's gonna save you now. Just breathe. Come on. Oh no. We'll call an ambulance. Come on, do something! Tess, breathe. Come on, Tess. Come on, wake up. You're wasting your time, Jarhead. The rat poison is foolproof. And it comes with a money-back guarantee. Come on, Tess. Breathe. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, honey. Hey. Okay, how is she? I called the paramedics and Ethan. He's on his way. Why would you call Ethan? Don't stop breathing for her. Okay, Teresa, just hang on, okay? Hang on. 
Too little, too late, people. You've lost her. <laughs> Come on, Teresa, breathe. Jess. Teresa. Come on. 